hello and uh, welcome everyone to this new video on veeam and uh, today i'm here to talk about what are the different architecture deployment options available for you when it comes to deploying uh, veeam in your environment so in order to explain this let me just go to my whiteboard and see what are these options the first option i'll talk about is if you have a small environment so it's not that big you have uh, a uh, couple of VMs, maybe a one or two physical server. In that case, you can do a two-tier deployment. In this option, you will have uh, one VM backup and replication server. It can be on a physical machine or on a virtualized machine. Obviously, there are minimum requirement. And if I remember correctly, I think it's four gig of RAM with four virtual CPUs or four CPUs. And uh, uh, this will be responsible for protecting your entire environment. So it can be a Windows, it can be a Linux, it can be physical or virtualized. I'm just going to take example of Hyper-V in this case. And you have, say, two VMs. So this is a small environment. You can do a two-tier deployment. One Veeam backup and replication server will be responsible for scheduling, uh, uh, acting as a data mover, acting as a proxy if I want to use Veeam ter terminology, and it will be responsible for moving the data to the backup repository. Now let's see the three-tier deployment. So what happens in case your environment is a little bit big, right? So you have a big organization and you have a lot of uh, physical server, you have a lot of virtualized machine, uh, it's a mix of Windows, Linux, you have a ESXi host, right? You have lots of uh, virtual machine in this case. In that case, you can have a scale out deployment. So you can have a Veeam backup and replication on a dedicated machine. Again, it can be a physical or a virtualized, and you can have a multiple proxy servers in this case, right? So in this case, I'm just taking example of four proxy server. It can just limit A, B, C, and D, and uh, say they are attached to some sort of storage. And once it receives the instruction from Veeam Backup Replication, which is the brain in this uh, deployment, uh, it will be responsible for moving the data from these production servers and moving that to the backup repository. So this is an example of a three-tier deployment. But it's also in certain scenario, there's also a need of uh, moving the data to an offsite location. So say, if you have, a, uh, this is your head office, right? And this is a remote location. And uh, you want to have a three to one, uh, uh, you know, kind of uh, 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 backup copy. So three uh, different copy on two different media with one copy offsite. So in this case, you can either have a two or three tier deployment. So let's say I will have a backup and replication server. I can have a multiple proxy server. They are attached to some sort of storage, maybe. And these are the machines that I'm trying to protect, right? These are the clients in this case. So these are the machines that I'm trying to protect. So you can create a copy locally. And what you can do is you can also deploy one more proxy server on uh, this site. And it is attached to storage. And it's all managed by this Veeam backup replication in the head office. You'll create a copy locally at this, and then you'll create a duplicate copy in the offsite location. So in case something happens to this uh, main uh, head office, the copies got corrupted or something like that, you'll be able to restore from this uh, remote backup copy location, which is in the remote location. So this is another option that you can utilize when it comes to deploying the backup and replication. And let's look at the last and the final option. Uh, say you have a multiple uh, location. So I have a location in Toronto. I have multiple clients here, right? Again, it can be physical, virtualized. I have another location, say, in New York. I also want to protect multiple clients here. And I also have uh, one office, say, in uh, Vancouver 
and this also has a couple of machines that I'm trying to protect right what I can do is uh, I can deploy my Veeam backup and uh, replication server here see it is attached to storage and each of them has a separate Veeam backup replication server and the data is uh, backed up say locally here now how about if there is a need to manage all these different sites from one location so what you can do is you can deploy is something what you call a Veeam Enterprise Manager and from one console you can manage all these three sites so you can add all these different Veeam backup replication servers so in this case three uh, to the uh, Veeam Enterprise Manager and uh, you can manage everything and actually it's give you a web GUI, GUI so from your computer you can manage schedule all those things you can do everything from the Veeam Enterprise Manager and a lot of customers are actually using this so you see that uh, there are different options uh, that you can utilize when it comes to deploying Veeam and replication depending upon what kind of environment you have and accordingly you can scale out uh, in case you have a big organization. I hope you found this video on Veeam Backup Replication useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.